today i gonna demonstrate full page scrolling options for elementor let's see the demo first this is the full page layout when you scroll it you will see the animations and the effect so let's look into that how we have built and how you can build this first of all you need to create a templates in elementor so you need to create new template add new and section and new template so once you create all those templates you just need to go to the element backend and in the backend you need to use the page scroll widget you can find that out using this you just need to use this widget in that widget you have options for the full page page piling and multi scroll currently in this video we will discuss about full page chairs only in the full page you have option for the content now in the content you need to select the template you already made from elementor here you need to make one template for one slide for here in a demo we have a total three slides and that's why you need to make a three templates so we have put the item number 1 over here item number 2 and item number 3 now i will mention slide id because this slide id will be connected with our scroll navigation this scroll navigation used for this kind of navigation this is the separate widget you just need to drag and drop scroll navigation widget from the plus addons and you need to connect that scroll navigation widget with these options in a scroll navigation widget you need to select a list and section id you just need to make sure all your section id matches with the full page items fv_sec_1 you can put whatever name you want but make sure these ids match with the scroll animation scroll navigation now let's look into the dots these are the navigation icons now let's look at the dots if you turn on the dots you will see the options these are the static options and it it will be with the limited customizability so we always recommend it to go with the scroll navigation with which have lots of options you can check it out that using this link and you can see there are lots of variation and lots of styles are available so it will be very help, helpful for you now let's turn off dots and let's connect with the scroll navigation you just need to put the connection id with the scroll navigation this id will be common and which you need to put over here page scroll connection id in a scroll navigation and in a page scroll this sounds complex but once you put that and it will be connected it will be awesome to have such icon and such styles after that you have option for the next previous button you can turn it on there are various styles you can see the next and previous icon there are lots of options like you can adjust its a direction if you want that horizontal or want that vertical you can adjust its position let's put on a bottom right you also have the values for the offset which is responsive as well so you can adjust that in responsive devices then you have this icon size you can adjust that from here so these are the options for the next previous button there are lots of styles and the custom layout as well then you have option for the paginate we already enable that this is the paginate once you scroll it will change and it will show the total number of slides you also have the option for the styles of pagination once you change it you will see the difference like this or if you want a roll in you can change it so it will change once you scroll you can see then again you have option for the position offsets so you can adjust its position on different devices then in a extra options 
you have option to enable or disable keyword scrolling you can adjust the scrolling speed so you can make it a bit softer or the faster based on your needs and your branding then you have a loop bottom that means once you reach to the end it will loop start again loop top that is also for that you also have option for a continuous vertical and the responsive width responsive width will be helpful in a small devices so you can adjust that as well let's keep turn off for now now let's go to the style tab in a style you have all the options for the dot next previous and the page in it in the dot style you have option for the color the padding typography tooltip color background color and border radius same options are available for the next previous button those cosmetic options and the radius and box shadow options are available for normal and for poor condition in a paginate again you have typography you have two typography first for the digit which is available your current current slide status and this is the total number both have a different typography and different color options so you can adjust and make a creative layout so these are the options for the full page chairs in a page scroll thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video